Actually, he was the completionist in his top 10 GameCube games. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess he either didn't complete this game totally, or he played like years ago. Because, you know, if you're a completionist on Eternal Darkness, you gotta beat it tw thrice. Like three times. Oh my god, what is oh, it? Otherwise, you're not gonna this get everything. Work. We should get out of here. Like, you have proven if, if you wanna do like most. a technical, completely legit 100%, you gotta beat the, the game three times. With every alignment to get the. The final ending. That's why no, no one is running 100%. But I do agree that this is definitely a top 10 GameCube game. 33.3% <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think you can go like 34% Because there's like one thing you can do on any of the three pads Like, it doesn't matter when you do it, just that you do it at some point. So I guess it's like... Should be like 34%. That would be so silly. I think PSO has something like that. Uh, Fantasy Star Online. Has a category that is like 25%, I think. Because the only way to 100% the, the game is being the game on all difficulties. And that's insanely hard and long. Like, it would probably take a day, I, I guess. Or many, many hours. <laughs> so. And the game has four difficulties, and you cannot access like the next difficulty until you beat the game. So you gotta beat the game four times. So you beat it three times, and then when you get to the final one, you get ultimate, I think is the, uh, the last one. And the problem with ultimate is that it's so different from the other ones. So you, you actually need to grind, I think. And get a lot of luck uh, to like beat that. That was kind of slow. You know, actually, the speedruns are pretty good. Like, no 100% of course, but the speedruns of PSO are really, really good. I've seen a, a bunch of them. I actually fo follow a guy that speedruns that regularly. And it's a pretty fun speedrun in both categories, glitched and glitchless. There's a ton of luck into it, by the way, but even without the luck, you can get a decent time. Just by playing, like, clean. And it's kind of fun. Like, I, I, either, I even think about speedrunning that game at some point. I still kind of thinking about it, but I just don't want to memorize everything. Because you gotta memorize like... How much it was? Like 30 something maps? It was a ton of maps that you got to memorize. So, you have come to return. And also you have to play as Phonium. And I hate Phoniums. Oh my god, this is so bad. Actually, I did a run of that, but I did it with Fonover. 
it was kind of a meme. He's, he's on the last place on the leaderboard. I didn't need to kill that guy. That was a far away trapper, but I still get it. Got it. Pretty good. I actually had no idea how good is this run. I know that the previous one probably got this low horror. Like probably without a hit, but still slow because of three hits. That's my guess. Vega sub, sub seven. You are a fool for trying to save him, Anthony. Because that was kind of bad. Was I mean, it, it was bad for an eighty percent run. As is the fate of this as world. of my level today, Despite let's say. Your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. Beautiful. <laughs> 